Hey guys, it's James. James Boatbill. So I'm over here at Orman at the Loves because I wanted to get the weight of my uh, my boat. Um, it's good to know the weight, uh, and I gotta calculate everything. And I'll show you what uh, the conclusion, what I came up to, why I have a single axle, and what I did. I went over there to the uh, the cat scale, and I weighed um, I weighed my uh, car and trailer, and um, oh yeah, I got the, the side uh, portholes in. I weighed the uh, the car and trailer, and I uh, then I got a, a reway. And um, and I weighed just the uh, the tow vehicle, and uh, and they're gonna show you what I came up with. So about the boat, though, you can see I put in the uh, the chair, and I made the cutouts for the uh, instruments and the uh, the helm dash. So we've been uh, we've been moving right along. All right, so I don't know how good you could see this, but uh, the um, the steering axle was 2380. Um, the drive axle was uh, 2940. The trailer axle was 2380, giving me a gross weight uh, tow vehicle and trailer of seven uh, seven thousand seven hundred pounds. Um, being a an ex truck driver that's um <laughs> that's no weight um and so uh the tow vehicle my uh honda passport with uh three quarters of a tank of fuel weighs four thousand six hundred and twenty pounds so if i do that if i do that and um if I take the vehicle weight and I subtract the gross weight, um, all right, like I was saying, if I uh, if I take the gross weight, the uh, tow vehicle, the uh, and the trailer, yeah, which was 7,700 pounds, and I subtract the uh, the tow vehicle, this Honda Passport, 4,620, um, that leaves us with 3,080 pounds. So 3,080 pounds, 80 pounds for sure on that jack plate that I have back there. I got my, um, the seats are in and my shop back is in there. Um, obviously the tank is installed. So let's call the boat less anything, just a shell, 28, I'm sorry, 1800 um, pounds. Because um, I got an easy thousand pounds of uh, for trailer. It's uh, 780 pounds for the trailer. Um, I have that electric um, uh, electric jack, and um, that thing weighs a lot, believe it or not. And uh, I got a spare tire. So um, with that said, I'm I'm taking the boat in with uh, just with nothing in it, just the windows and uh, no fuel tank. Uh, the uh, the boat is about 1,800 pounds and that's coming in just about where the manufacturer the designer said it would so that's great I'm really stoked about that um, this is why I only went with a uh, single axle um, trailer now I'm gonna be skirting it because uh, the single axle trailer uh, this trailer can hold um, 3,500 pounds and um, right now uh, without the engine and some more uh, electronics and gauges and stuff not much more weight but obviously the engine's going to put the weight but I'd say between the engine and what extra things it's got to go on the, the boat we're going to add another 800 pounds so um, <clears throat> right now uh, my trailer axle is at 2380 I know it might sound a little bit confusing, but that brings me to uh, just about a little over 3,000 pounds on the uh, when I'm when I'm loaded, the boat ready to go, full of fuel, and uh, going down the road. 
So the trailer is rated for 3,500 pounds. So I wanted to say all that because um, these are the things you need to know. I mean, you know, you need to know the weight of your boat. So um, I'm really happy. Uh, I could have got a freeway at the junkyard, but it's a scrap metal yard and I didn't want to take my uh, car and my trailer and boat in there because uh, I could pop a tire really easy and you know you you enter those places at your own risk right so okay guys that's it uh, this is James uh, at the Love's truck stop in Ormond Beach and y'all be good